What's up, guys? No Belusia1969 like here. Black Ops Zombies solo style. Um, this is my strategy for it. Uh, been playing zombies for a couple years now since you know World at War came out, and me and, my me and my buddies get together on Monday nights and play for hours and you know, have a good time. But Black Ops come out, and everybody was so excited about it, and it turned out to be uh, basically a big fucking hassle. So been playing zombies a lot and this is basically what I've learned this is my strategy so um, this is not going to be a commentary type video this is basically going to be like a walkthrough um, with commentary I'm just going to you know, give you little hints on why I do things and you know hopefully it helps you out um, and basically what I'm doing here is I want to save my ammo um, I'm not going to leave this room until the beginning of round four or until I get at least five to six thousand points. Um, and a good way to save ammo is by not shooting individual zombies in the first two rounds. First two rounds, you want to shoot at least two or three at a time. And you know, it's pretty easy to do just by you know getting them together and lining them up. And you know, it's you'll learn how to do that just by running around the room, and you'll see how they follow you. You can line them up. So it saves you ammo, and you know you save ammo, which basically you're going to end up getting more points. So <clears throat> don't be in a big hurry. Um, my, my highest round is uh, I think 37. I could have got higher than that, but you know, basically I lost interest. And end up dying. So, but that took me three and a half hours to get that far. So, you can play for hours and hours and hours. I know uh, one guy I was I was watching one of his videos, and yeah, I think he hit round sixty, and that's a good, I would say, at least five hours, six hour game. So. You know, the thing good, what's good about playing solo is you can um, pause the game and take a break, which is cool. I mean, as you notice that I didn't leave one zombie and board the windows up because it stopped giving me points. So usually I'll just wait to the next round, the beginning of the next round, and um, board the windows up just to get as much points as I can. Um, your power ups. Heavy now. Usually in the first three rounds, you'll get at least four. And, and I don't know about Xbox, I know on PS3, um, it's usually um, max ammo first. And then it's um, usually insta kill. And then let's get the bomb. And then times two. So. You see what I'm doing here, I'm just lining them up and I'll move from one side of the room to the other and get the other half of them. So, just do this for a little bit until you get some points and then start cutting them. Start killing them with your knife. So, it works and you can get, you know, you can get some really good points that way. And I wouldn't suggest getting the insta kill because you don't really need it on round two because usually you can kill a zombie with just two cuts or with about six shots in a cut so I'm going to try to get you know some windows boarded up as you see it's not giving me no points but when round three starts a whole fresh round then it starts giving you points so that that kind of sucks uh, when you're playing online you're playing with your buddies it'll give you points you know pretty much the whole time so now round three starts you're not going to have a lot of time to line zombies up because you're going to be moving too quick the best thing to do is to try to take some of them out with your frag and you want to turn them across 
So we you get the points for the actual frag doing damage, and plus you can c come back and cut them with your knife and get you know points that way as well. So pretty cool, um, and it helps. So now that I got some of the zombies out, and I can usually work on lining up these guys. Usually on round three, I'll try to get them on the stairs. You know, if you're coming up the stairs, line them up that way. But as you see, I'm pretty much almost out of ammo. Getting low on ammunition. So even if I do run out of ammo, oh, which is double points right there, Welcome I wish I had that <clears throat> a couple minutes ago. When did I run out of ammo? So basically, what I'm going to do now is just start cutting them. Start getting some knife kills off of them. Is there any way you can get points right about now? But you were dead before! Ah, fuck you! Die, Satan's minions! So there is a bomb down there, and I'm going to choose not to get it until I kill this guy. You see what happens when you touch Nikolai? So, I got one up there, but I'm uh, Bombs blinking, so I go ahead and take the bomb Salute! and board up this window, and I do believe I'm going to get the I hell out of here because I'm going to be able to handle round four with just a knife, not in this little small room. So my strategy here is basically open the doors, get downstairs to the dressing room. I'm going to get the uh, I think it's the MPK5 off the wall. Where is all the ammo at? This is nice and light. And towards the higher rounds, I'm usually going to stick to the MPK-5. That way, you know, once I do uh, pack a punch my gun, I can just run back to it and, you know, buy ammo off the wall. I don't have to worry about max ammo all the time. Um, uh, uh -oh. My strategy that is to like link up the teleporter. Usually at the end of every round, but since you know this is the beginning of round four, um, what I'm going to do is basically teleport upstairs, and once I'm up here, I'm going to toss down frags and try to take some of them out with my grenades. Um, the oh, grenades sure, usually work grow, pretty good up to around 18 or 19, that area, maybe a little bit higher. Usually what happens is, is uh, the grenades basically just uh, knock them down and they end up standing back up. So, you know, don't waste your money on ammo I'm good, around, I mean, on grenades I around, you know, around 20. So, um... So that's basically it. That's basically my strategy for that is just make sure your teleporter is linked before you end the round. So, and the main reason why I use the the uh, teleporter Good is whenever bombs. you're in that teleporter, Die. all the zombies are going to basically go to the stage area and they're going to gather around there until you spawn in this room. And then you can work your way around the right hand side of the map. And that's usually what I do. Um, usually I'll wait for them. You don't want to move too quick because if you move too quick they're going to they're spawn in front of you and you really don't want a lot of zombies spawning in front of you because it's really hard to get around them and you don't want to have to turn around and backtrack. So they kind of move in a, in a you know kind of slow and they should stay you know behind you. So, um, one of the key weapons to this gun, uh, th this map, if only I had time is to the, piss uh, on you too. I think it's called the Thunder Gun, that's what I call it. Um, and you basically only use that whenever you're going from, um, you're going from the lobby there and around the map. Once you go around the map, you get back here, you can switch up back to your, uh, back to your, your other weapon. So basically, I know this round's about over, 
and I know the dogs are going to usually come around around five or six. So what I'm going to try to do here is just go to the box and see what I get out of there. It's that clicking again. Oh, ammo! And I have noticed if you are playing solo, especially on this map, um, if you don't take this the gun that the box like gives you, the first day. there's a good chance it's going to give you that I gun bring home flowers. again. Well, that's the end of round four, and we're going to hit round five, and that's going to be the dogs. Me their soul. The crossbow you works really, nice really soul. well with the dogs. Like, like I said, Vodka. one hit, and they're down. So the crossbow works pretty well. But yeah, this is basically my strategy for the first five rounds. Um, it's pretty simple. You know, nothing really, really hard. You know, it's not a hard game. It's just to have fun. Um, you know, hopefully you learn something off of it. I mean, like I said, it's only through round five. It's not very hard. You know, you can get to round five just by doing basically running around in a circle or just, you know, buying a gun off the wall. But the the whole key here is to build your points up to where you can open the doors. You want to get most of the doors mouth. open. So keep your points. Um, open the doors and then buy your perks. And the only way you can do that is by not spending all your money on the box. So that's it for it round one through five. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.